Hey, welcome to Inside the Hem. I'm Amber, and today I just want to talk a little bit about different types of thread. Now, this is actually the first spool of thread that I bought. I had no idea what I was looking for, and I just got one that was red and matched my fabric. And it turns out that I bought a cotton thread, which was actually fine because I was just sewing with a basic quilting cotton. But after that, I learned there are so many other types of thread and that actually the polyester is a lot stronger and so I use that for more projects now and I'm mainly sewing with other types of fabrics and not so much cotton anymore. So this is uh, a polyester, it's 100% polyester, coated in polyester and this is the Guterman brand and so the difference between the cotton and the poly, you can see that the cotton one is kind of a yellow colored um, thread spool and this is like a lighter ivory to tell the difference when you're shopping and um, one thing to note there's like a little color number on the bottom this is 410 and if I run out of this I just want to remember to go look for 410 that way I can find the same color match it's really helpful if you find that you like the Guterman thread brand I really recommend this box that has 26 all together for really low price. If you have a Joann's, it's joann's.com and I used like a 50% off discount and got 26 spools for like $12, which is a steal. And these are all really good threads. It's got a lot of colors and so that's really helpful. There are a bunch of different brands of thread and different stores carry different brands. Um, this is another common, which is the Coates and Clark. This is their dual duty, which is Another good all-purpose thread, it works really well and you can always find a lot of different colors and it's a really common thread brand. Um, this is your Mettler Metro Scene Plus thread and I actually really like this one. It feels um, really smooth and I find that my stitches look really sharp and clean with it. So I'm a big fan of this Mettler brand. It's also got more thread than the common Guterman that I find at the store, although I think online you can order much bigger spools of that type. Um, so I stocked up and bought a lot of white and black in this Mettler brand, which is really nice. Um, the next type of thread that I wanna talk about is our um, top stitching thread, and I've gotten into this more with sewing jeans. It's a heavier thread, and it's gonna take a thicker needle, so if you missed it, I just did a needles video and I'm gonna link that below so you can check that out. Um, so you wanna use your top stitching needle when you're using top stitching thread, you'll get much better stitches. Um, Coats and Clark also has uh, their version of the top, top stitching thread and this one is a special like golden color for jeans that looks really nice. It's kind of has a slight sparkle to it. The next type of thread I've got is um, my serger thread cone and I use this if I'm sewing knits or finishing a seam and I actually only have black and white and now gray which I found is really good for matching a lot of different things so that you don't have to buy four cones of every single color that you need to sew. The last type of thread that I've got here is a vintage one and I really like to collect these because the wooden spools are pretty cool. But um, to sew with it, I probably wouldn't, just because uh, the vintage thread, it kind of gets covered in lint after a while, and that's really not good for your, your machine. And then also the thread sort of starts to deteriorate over time, and so it's just not as strong as a newer thread, but it still looks cool if you want to line them up on a shelf and have a little vintage thread collection like I do. So that's it for Thread, and if you have any ideas for future videos that you'd love to see, tips about sewing, please leave me a comment below. And if you found this video helpful, I'd love it if you gave us a thumbs up. And please um, subscribe for future videos so that you don't miss anything. And follow us on our social media accounts. You can find us at Inside the Hem. And Piper just said hello, and I hope you had fun watching. We'll see you next time.